really proud to have this opportunity to show you the exhibition here today, uh, which will be now available for all New Zealanders to visit. This exhibition has taken three years of a lot of work by many, many people to uh, put together an exhibition to help New Zealanders better understand our history so that we can understand where New Zealand as, as a country uh, is heading. The exhibition has got three documents, three absolutely important constitutional documents that define New Zealand as a country. The 1835 Declaration of Independence signed by the, the, the Chiefs of the United Tribes, uh, the 1840 Treaty of Waitangi, which we all know, the nine sheets of the treaty, and the 1893 Petition for Suffrage, uh, which was successful in, in uh, progressing through Parliament to give women the right to vote. These three documents are the cornerstone for New Zealand's constitutional arrangements and they underpin New Zealand as a democratic society. My name is Stephanie Lesh, I'm the lead curator of Hitohu and I'm really delighted to welcome you here today. Um, we're going to start in the document room and I'll explain a little bit about the design and what you'll see when you go in there. Come on through. All of the sheets of the treaty have a little bit of damage on them and that's from some adverse storage conditions they had long before the National Archives was instituted. Since they've come into our care in the 50s they've been looked after by conservators and our conservators have done a lot of work, a lot of research and a lot of um, uh, new findings to look after the documents and get them into the stable state they are today. This is a really exciting day and we can't wait for visitors to come in and learn what we've discovered for them but also start telling us what they know about the people and the documents because that's who it's all about. The document room that we've just been in, because of the preservation needs of the documents, is a quiet place, it's quite dark and it's deliberately devoid of interpretation so that people can come in and experience having the real thing right in front of them. And that gives rise to questions like, what are these documents? Why were they made? Who signed them? Um, where have they been in their lives? What have they been up to? So that's where the interpretive space comes in. So this is a noisy space, it's full of voices, it's full of histories. These documents have got dramatic histories behind them and I'm sure in front of them in some cases. And so here is where you can come in and start from the beginning or if you're already an expert then you can go deep into the details of the content. I think one of the uh, one of the keys about uh, today is opening up the uh, uh, density and the uh, petition uh, for people to come and see the actual foundations of New Zealand. You know, in in other countries, they um, song and verse about uh, the constitutions and things like that. Well, these are our constitutions and the principles of our uh, constitutional documents that uh, reside here uh, in this exhibition.